and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at calculation with money. In this video we're going to look at addition. There'll be another video on subtraction, another video on multiplication and division and another video on rounding with money. So the Edexcel criteria says we need to be able to add and subtract sums of money using decimal notation. As I say today we're going to be looking at addition in this video. The keywords for this are pounds, pence, coin and notes. The most common place where people lose marks in this topic is not understanding the position the number gives it is that particular value. Check out my video on decimals for more understanding on uh, what each number represents. Um, sometimes people are confused by the uses of different um, units in money. Uh, some people find it difficult to identify the operations or what the question is actually asking us to do. So when we are adding money, it's the column method we use. Now we've used this before for addition of whole numbers. So if it's something you're unsure of, please go back and check out that video. Don't forget to position everything in columns according to their place value. We want to line those decimal points up. We may need to add some zeros in to make everything the same size. So let's look at an example. If I wanted to do £5.60 plus £2.05, pence, I would line everything up correctly so that my decimal points are in line, my pounds are with my pounds, my ten pences are with my ten pences, and my pennies are with my pennies. I always need to make sure that I put the symbol of what I'm doing on. Don't forget, you're getting marks for your working out. So by showing the examiner that you're doing an addition, you could still get the process mark if you made an error on your answer. Then with addition, I'm working from right to left. So 0 plus 5 is 5, 6 plus 0 is 6, put my decimal point down, 5 plus 2 is 7. Let's look at another example. £65.48 adds £7.34. Again, I'm going to round everything up so that my decimal points are in line. So my £10, my £1, my decimal point, my 10 pences and my pennies. Then again, I'm going to start right to left. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to put my 2 down, carry my 1. I've put my one there. If you put your one up here, that's fine. If you put your one down here, that's fine. Just don't forget about it. Four plus three plus one is eight, decimal point. Five plus seven is 12, two down, carry my one. And six plus one is seven. So my final answer is 72 pound 83. When writing money, I need to be really careful. I need to make sure that my pound sign is at the front and I I don't need both. The most common mark I see being lost is people writing £72.83. pence. We do not put the pence sign and the pound sign on. If I was just writing pence, I could write, say, 83 pence, which if I was writing in the other format, I would write as 0 0.83 pounds, because don't forget, I've got no whole pounds and 83. So I could write it like that. But the most common mark I see when I'm marking is the pound sign and the pen sign. So make sure you're just putting your pound sign on. Okay, give these questions a go. So pause the video and give these a go for me, please. Okay, let's see how you got on. Hopefully, this is what you got as your answers. The one that the most mistakes are made of is this third one. Hopefully, when you laid it out, you realised that it was £50 and £5.55. So be really careful when you're laying out your sums. And if on the bottom one, if you've just got £22 and you haven't written the dot zero zero, that's fine too. In a lot of questions, you will be using a calculator when you're dealing with money. So there's a few rules to make sure. Make sure it says zero before you start. Make sure you press all the buttons really, really carefully and always check that you've pressed the correct buttons. Make sure you press the equal sign at the end of all of your calculations and make sure you type all the zeros. Also, double check the question. Do you need units or zeros? So my calculator will show 4.5 if 4.5 is the answer. But be really careful because my calculator doesn't know I'm dealing with money. So if my calculator shows 4.5, my actual answer is £4.50. So don't forget, 
I've got four ones, five tenths and no hundredths. There is always two numbers after the decimal point. OK, let's see what it'd look like in an exam. Here's a three mark question. It's from a calculator paper. Ellery buys these items from a shop. So she's bought some tea bags and some bread. How much money does Ellery spend in total? Use correct money format. Pause and give it a go. OK, let's check that out. Hopefully you got three pounds seventy. So my two eighty nine plus my eighty one pence. So I was getting one mark for a method. So one mark for knowing it was an addition, one mark for my answer, and one mark for my format. Now because I was we were doing it on a calculator, my calculator would have showed three point seven. Don't forget it's money. I need two numbers after the decimal point. That needs to turn into three pounds seventy when I write my final answer. Let's try another one. Talia buys a time switch for the greenhouse heater. This is the cost of the switch and the cost of delivery. What is the total cost? Use correct money format. Pause and give it a go. Okie dokie, let's see. So by adding them together, hopefully you got £48.40. Again, one mark for addition, one mark for your answer, and one mark for the format. Would have needed my pound sign and my 40 pence. OK, so today we've looked at adding and sub sorry, today we've looked at addition. I'm going to look at subtraction in my next video um, using decimal notation. So best of luck with your studies. Any questions, pop them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.